This is what El Shaitan meant in the Holy Quran when he said that I'm going to come at them in their straight path and you shall find not one of them thankful. That we are pumping the wickedness of capitalism into our own people in the name of righteousness, in the name of activism, in the name of human rights, in the name of religion, politics, or whatever. We are perpetuating the chaos and the misery of the society. We are participating in it willingly because we worship the same things that they worship. And as long as we worship that, it don't matter if it's all black, all white, all green, all blue, it's going to collapse. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's going to be You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Whoa now, whoa now, whoa now. Welcome back to the Black Elf and your boy, Brother Kush. Um, in this video, bro, I want to talk about uh, something that this racist man, this, I, I don't know, he's some kind of um, intellectual. He tried to make a slick side argument, slick side racist argument, um, under the conclusion that homogeneous societies are more peaceful, one race. That multiracial um, societies are never successful, that they always have problems. He forget that a lot of these countries also have been having problems within themselves that he didn't mention, like France. They were they were having riots, something like seven, eight months before all that COVID stuff happened and in, in early 2020. They were already having riots over economics. Down in South America, uh, one of them countries, I don't wanna say the wrong country, they had to rewrite their constitution because the people were rioting so bad. And actually, in several of the countries down there, people are in uh, in um in a state of unease and unrest because of the conditions that they live under. So, this has nothing to do with how many races of people live together. This has everything to do with the ethos of the leaders. First of all, we shouldn't have leaders because that kind of power corrupts. It's going to always corrupt. As long as you got leaders, you're going to have corruption. That's the first problem. You know what I'm saying? Because these people that lead, they want to lead. A real leader is not a person that wants to lead. These people are power hungry. They they thrive off the power. The kinds of people that you need to follow are not the kinds of people that want to be leaders. And that's all we see. And that's the that's the conundrum in it. You know what I'm saying? That that is the dilemma. The sorts of people that 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 are best leaders don't want to be leaders. And the kinds of people that want to be leaders should never be leaders and would never be leaders in a natural environment. So this is the problem that you always have. But I want to talk about this concept of homogeneous harmony, because this is one of the things that we focus on. We every time we talk about like rebuilding a black community. Right. And I hint to it all the time. I, I kind of tell you, all it's not going to be all black people. I'm just telling you now, you're going to have to make allies, people. You're going to have to make allies, but you got to do it outside of the structures of beliefs. You got to focus on just human rights, you know what I'm saying, human interests. And you got to make allies across the board because not every black person, not most black people are going to want to join. And a lot of the ones that will join are going to try to destroy it. Because people will join out of the field of necessity, while at the same time never really liking with their joining. It's, it's odd, people will do that. People will volunteer to be a part of something just so they can try to go in there and destroy it. It's weird, man. And, and we are not immune to this type of sabotage, man. You know what I'm saying? We're not immune to it. So anyway, let me, let me make this real quick. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to receive notification of drop more videos. And remember, participate in the channel. You know, leave a comment in the comment section, you know, um, participate somehow, man, to help the algorithm because the algorithm does not like me. This is not about the 
the, the, the race of people that you live among. It's about the beliefs and the ethos of the people you live among. If you live among people that are one-minded, closed-minded, arrogant, stiff-hearted, you're going to have problems. And every characteristic I just named or attribute that I just named, you find in ideologues of all kinds, be they political ideologues, be they religious ideologues, be they racial ideologues, be, be they nationalistic ideologues, be they activists of some type for some cause, it don't matter. All of them are one-minded, closed-minded, rigid in thinking, stiff-hearted, arrogant, hard to deal with, hard to communicate with. They're all the same. And if you have a society full of these people, it will collapse. It will implode. It will implode. And that's all we are seeing going on right now around the world. This man's argument falls flat on his face in so many ways that it's not even funny. But see, he wants white people in Europe mainly to believe that the conflict that they're having in their countries is due to immigration, which immigration is not even that big of a deal in a lot of these European nations. Immigration is not the problem. Immigration is not the problem that America is facing. It's capitalism. It's the blind belief that capitalism is somehow tied to elitism. Got to get that money. I, me and my wife are just talking about all these black kind artists. Kind kind artists. O'Shea Du Jackson did a video. I, these dudes are listening to me, man. I'm not getting no credit. I'm not getting credit. They're in my in-live feeds. My videos are not getting the hits because they're not clicking the videos. They're watching the videos in the scrolls. The algorithm can tell that. They're watching my videos in the inline feed. I'm not getting no credit, but I can hear their language changing. A lot of them. I can hear, I can hear Brother Kush coming out of their mouth. Because a lot of these channels I have been watching for a while. I know how those dudes think. And them dudes did not start talking the way they are talking until I hit the scene. I am influencing these dudes and I'm not getting no credit for it. That sucks, but it is what it is, right? But anyway, he did a video talking about these pro-black kind artists and how all of them come from either the, the pan-Africanist, hotep type sector or the religious sector. But one he forgot about was the political sector, the social political sector. They come from there too. They come from the activist sector also. But he's right though. They all come wrapped in the same in, in, in these clothings, right? In these in, in these wrappings. And for some reason, this is appealing to us. And we go for the okie doke every time. But anyway, I was telling my wife about these these kind artists. And one of these brothers, 19 Keys, who who has the the arrogant audacity to actually name himself Ford Muhammad. Oh man. I know a lot of y'all know don't know who Ford Muhammad is, but it, it's it's crazy. He wear, he wears the same type of hey head garment that, he, that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad wore. And then he put the name Far Muhammad. In. I'm, it's it's crazy, bro. But all this dude is, is is a kind artist. He 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 money 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 money. He's a young dude that's too young to even know half the stuff he thinks he know. I don't think the dude even thirty. And all he all, all, he's just chasing dollars and he's getting it. He's getting it from from fools. He's too young to be teaching y'all anything, but y'all don't want to accept that. So y'all listen to this young fool tell you a bunch of shit that he can't possibly know or understand and i mean anyway i was telling my wife that when you see stuff like that, this dude said he grew up in a nation of islam home and he's a kind artist the same thing with dr khaled muhammad's son right dr khaled muhammad's son was named farrakhan muhammad right then he changed the pharaoh muhammad a lot of y'all might have heard of him he would used to be on tv bragging about how he made himself rich before he was 20 and all this stuff but he got rich because he used the clout of his daddy and his association with the Nation of Islam. And people just patronized whatever he was doing, whatever he was hustling, whatever he was selling. People just helped him because of who he was. But as he got rich, he, he changed his name from Farrakhan to Farrah. Then he, then he removed the Muhammad. I mean, he don't go by none of that stuff no more. I think he took his mom's main name. You know, he got a regular name like Byron White or some shit right now. Because he don't want to associate with none of that stuff anymore because now he got his money. He's out of there. 
the point I'm making is that this is the product of Dr. Khaled Muhammad, whether y'all like it or not. This is the product of Minister Farrakhan. I'm talking about 19 Keys, whether y'all like it or not. He was raised in a family full of Nation of Islam members, which means his mom and daddy are my age. Maybe even a few years younger. Because I have kids older than him. So he is a product of that. Because you know all they teach in the nation? Money, 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 money. You know all Khalid Muhammad used to talk about? You got to be self-employed. You got to get out here and do for self. It was always about money. And this is the problem, man, because we... We we pump this, this 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 worship of capitalism into us through all of our teachings. This is what El Shaitan meant in the Holy Quran when he said that I'm gonna come at them in their straight path, and you shall find not one of them thankful. That we are pumping the wickedness of capitalism into our own people in the name of righteousness, in the name of activism, in the name of human rights, in the name of religion, politics, or whatever. We are perpetuating the chaos and the misery of the society. We are participating in it, willingly. Because we worship the same things that they worship. And as long as we worship that, it don't matter if it's all black, all white, all green, all blue. It's going to collapse. Because you can't breed inequalities into people. You can't breed greed and classism into people. Racism is not the only problem you will have to deal with. In a homogeneous society, classism will kick in. I get tired of telling y'all, the police in America don't care about race. They care, but where there are no niggas, they will fuck up white folks all the same. Do not be fooled. Do not be fooled. We not talking about small time, small town um, cops or strictly white national, you know, real, real, real strict white nationalistic type police. Most police are just psychopaths. Most police are just sociopaths. They don't care about the race of the person they violate. I told y'all about the clip. Do I need to put it back on another video? When the police jump out with the mother call for a white kid having a mental breakdown, she called 911 for a mental crisis issue. You know, she's standing, talking to her son, talking to him in the, she's standing in the, in the, in the window of the truck, talking to her son. The police pull up screaming and hollering and starts firing without even giving him a chance to respond to the commands. Just start shooting while the lady is still standing there. The police are a problem because we are going to have more than just race problems. Because where there are no other people to make bad guys, people will find reasons to hate each other the way this system is structured. Trust me on that. Because you cannot breed me, you know, ups and downs into people. You cannot breed the mentality of a of, of a us versus them type thing against people. You cannot breed any form of tribalism into people. And you don't need different races to have tribalism, people. Didn't they prove that in Rwanda? Didn't they prove that in Ireland? Y'all forget that they've been fighting each other over there for, for like six, seven hundred years? Y'all forget the thing in Kosovo? The old Yugoslavia? That they've been fighting over there? The, 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 all this stuff in, 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 in modern Croatia and all this stuff? That they've been fighting over there against each other for a thousand years? See, that was racism with that dude trying to spew out. He trying to hide racial rhetoric behind some bullshit that he thinks sound good. But man, this ain't got nothing to do with the diversity of the community, bro, or the society. This is all about the beliefs of the people. And I say all that to say this, my brothers and sisters. If you really want to build, rebuild a community, you have to be open to allies. 
That should be the only thing you're looking for. Like-minded people. That's it. Like-minded people. Not white people. Not black people. Not red people. Not aliens. Like-minded people. But we cannot let the base of any belief, if there is one, because we, we try to avoid beliefs as much as possible. We cannot let the base be rooted in anything European. Because everything they touch is corrupted. Everything they represent is wrong. So we can't let it come from them at all. But at the same time, we have embraced so much of them that we have made it our own and we don't even see it. That's why we're producing children like that from the nation of Islam. That's why we got women beaters in the nation of Islam. Serial cheaters in the nation of Islam. You got wives in the nation of Islam that, that, that cheat by fucking married men that's in the same mosque with them. That should not ever happen. It just should not ever happen. I mean, I can't even imagine how you even get to that point as, a, as members of the same mosque where you even flirt with each other enough to even get comfortable enough to have a conversation on whether or not we are interested in fucking, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't even see how you get to that point inside that structure. But at the same time, a large percentage of them are single. A large percentage of the women in the nation are single. But they're sleeping with everybody. Their legs stay spread open. Because we're not really teaching morals anymore. We have become cogs of this system. Understand that. And as long as we are cogs of the system, we will fight with each other. For one reason or another, we will fight with each other. So if you want to build a community, you better be open to allies. You know what I'm saying? We need allies. We can't. We cannot not accept anybody simply because they're not black. That It, it can't go that way. It can't go that way. We just need like-minded people. That's all we need. We need people that want the same things out of life. And as long as you got the people that want the same things out of life, you got the same kinds of people. I mean, that that's what it is. Because being black don't make you my kind of pure person. Like that old rock song say, you one of my kind. You know what I'm saying? Being black don't make you one of my kind. You know? No more than being white means you're not one of my kind. So we got to understand that. Now, race has a big factor. But like I said, race is not the only problem. We do have a, we, we, we have a culture of divisiveness. That is a problem. I mean, it, it's chopped up in all levels, in all kinds of ways, in all kinds of segments. I'm telling you, but people will clash over one thing or another. Again, this is why y'all come on my page. I see the conservatives and stuff that dip in here. I see the liberals that dip in here. Subscribe to the channel. See another video unsubscribe. I, I'm seeing y'all. You hear me say one thing on one video thing. Oh, he's a he's a liberal. I'm a rock with him. Then I say something else. Oh, no, no, no. I had him wrong. Unsubscribe. Or they hear something. Oh, he's a conservative. I'm a rock with him. They hear something else. Oh, no, 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 no. Un unsubscribe. Man, too many beliefs, but I don't care. I'm just telling you, this is the flaw you have. Because if you can't be open-minded, listen, if you can't learn to live outside of a box, then you are the problem. You are the problem. And putting people in the box simply by race, that's that, that, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. So a homogeneous community will not thrive. In fact, I don't think no community has ever really been fully homogeneous, you know, in America. We've always had whites lived in, in, in our black enclaves. And all these black enclaves, black Wall Street, all of them, there was always whites living around us. Always. They just wanted the same things out of life that we wanted. And we've always had some blacks living around the whites. Because they always saw things the way blacks, I mean, whites saw it. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how that worked. Because whites are so hateful, you know what I'm saying? It, it's a different dynamic. The, the whites around us don't have to worry about us burning crosses on their lawn or uh, you know, picking on them just because they're white. You know what I'm saying? We won't do stuff like that. But, you know, growing up as, as the only black in certain areas, I mean, that, that could be challenging. But anyway, my point is, we cannot look forward to a homogeneous uh, community. We got to be open-minded and, and be willing to accept allies of any race. And on that note, I'm out of here. Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Blackout. Salam.